Uh, my name is Tan Kim Lian. I want to show how e-wallet can be used uh, for a customer to make payment to a hawker. Now, Mr. Ong is a hawker and he has uh, registered an e-wallet linked to his mobile phone and his bank account and he has printed a QR code which he displayed in front of his store. Uh, the QR code says this is Ong Gray Dark and this is his mobile number. Now, I'm a customer. I've also registered an e-wallet linked to my mobile number and to my bank account and have transferred money into my e-wallet to make payment. But before showing you e-wallet, I want to show you how payment is made in the traditional way. So I just bought $4 uh, from uh, Mr. Ong. Uh, and I have to pay him $4. So I take out my wallet and I take out from inside here, I take out $4 and I give it to him. So now he can put this in his pocket or his cash register and he give me a receipt. Uh, now I shall show you how the same process can be done uh, using e-wallet. Okay. Now I've pressed the uh, e-wallet icon and now I'm logging in and this is how uh, my, uh, uh, this is my e-wallet. Uh, I have $264 uh, in my e-wallet and I have to pay $4 to Mr. Ong. So this is what I do. Uh, I have to enter his mobile number, which I can uh, read you by, I can use my camera to read his QR code. Uh, to get the mobile number uh, that is entered. Uh, this could be done automatically by the camera and I have to enter the amount $4. Uh, now you can see the $4 has been deducted from my uh, wallet and is now the balance has reduced from 264 to 260. Now Mr. Ong, uh, when he check his wallet, he will find that $4 has been credited and his balance has increased by $4. So uh, this is the, the latest transaction. Now the, if I find that my balance is too low and I have to top up, I will press here and then uh, this is my bank account. I enter the amount to top up, let's say it's $100. Now this will be linked uh, to uh, my bank account and the $100 is now transferred to my wallet. And now I get uh, the wallet has increased. By he will be collecting uh, payments from many, many customers. And at the end of the day, uh, he will be able to withdraw uh, money uh, from his wallet and credit to his bank account. And he can use this uh, withdrawal. Now, Mr. Ong may also... Uh, have to make payment to suppliers who supply him uh, uh, the, the uh, food that he needs to sell. And he can make payment by again entering uh, the payment. Uh, he can enter the supplier's mobile number or he can use a QR code to read the supplier's mobile number and he enter the amount to pay. Uh, and uh, uh, let's say his supplier is uh, Eight zero 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 one, and he wants to pay supplier one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, this will be debited from Mr. Ong's wallet, e wallet, and credited to the supplier's e wallet. So payment can be made uh, uh, to the supplier. Now the supplier can also use his mobile phone uh, to uh, display a QR code uh, that Mr. Ong can read. So you will find that. Uh, this is a very simple application uh, to, uh, uh, to allow uh, money to be paid from one person to another. Uh, for example, I mentioned the supplier uh, wants to show his QR code, he just press here. And this is a supplier's QR code that uh, Mr. Ong can read to make the payment. So I hope that uh, you find this uh, easy to use. Thank you. Now I hope you uh, find this uh, process very simple and uh, uh, you uh, uh, find that uh, it's very convenient uh, to make payment using e-wallet. Now for e-wallet to work, uh, 
we need the association of banks in Singapore to provide a payment gateway uh, that will connect uh, uh, the banks uh, with the e-wallet so that money can be transferred between the bank account to the e-wallet and also from the e-wallet back to the bank account. So you need this payment gateway. Now this payment gateway uh, can serve not only a general purpose e-wallet that I have developed, it can also uh, serve a special purpose e-wallet. For example, uh, e-wallet to pay taxi fare, uh, to, uh, uh, to pay Grab and Uber, or an e-wallet to pay parking charges. Uh, there are many applications that can be developed that can make Singapore into a smart nation. I hope you enjoy this simple uh, presentation. Thank you for watching.